the question uh, now in some sense becomes what do we actually represent in the plane? Uh, the high dimensional plane here uh, is not really a geometric thing or it shouldn't be conceived uh, uh, in the same way that it's being plotted so this is just a simplification in 2D. Uh, let me just erase that very quickly though uh, just so that we can actually see what makes up this type of thing. Well, it's pretty obvious what, what it actually is. So anyway uh, what we have is basically a, uh, a, a bunch of vectors. Uh, we have a collection of points uh, in a high dimensional space. Uh, each, each of these is basically a vector, uh, so say x1, x2, okay, x2, okay, x3, and so on to xn. Um, and that's going to be a three-dimensional problem if it's going to be x3, if it's going to be x and n equals 20, uh, talking about 20 dimensions, uh, which is pretty small uh, if we're talking about uh, things like PCA, it should be fine, uh, even with a very small data, data set. And if, if we have a, um, we're going to have the variation of 19 uh, uh, axes uh, eventually, so we'll be able to uh, reconstruct the, an example based on the statistical analysis of a whole group of them. Right, so what are x anyway? Uh, in the case, uh, I, I did try to put this into a uh, diagram before, uh, but it's probably easier if I do it in a certain animated sequence and try and keep it very simple, because I obviously couldn't like, plot things too quickly in any way in this case. Uh, so x can be uh, a shape, it can be something x2, x1, x2 could just be the uh, the x, y of some shape in some direction and you could actually treat them as coordinates. Uh, they could be a mesh in some ways, they could be a correspondent to a mesh that we predefine as belonging to a certain part of the face and each one of them has a color associated with it or a shade associated with it. Uh, so that'll be texture. Uh, that's what we usually do in typical PCA. Uh, then we try to reconstruct the texture and the, uh, and the shape, uh, obviously. Uh, having put it in a high dimensional space, done dimensionality reduction recursively until we reach the very small number of dimensions and then we take the uh, principal components and reconstruct from them. So uh, in the next part I'll try and explain what GMBS is in fact doing if it was to be treated as a, G as a purely uh, PCA problem.